Hey y'all, I am just heading out of Huntsville, Alabama, on my way up to Illinois, uh, Whitting, Whittington Creek. It's been one hell of a trip. Uh, just started, just started this over. It's been one hell of a trip so far. Uh, I stopped at Walmart to get some like groceries and stuff, and someone stole my skateboard. Right out of my bed. My dumbass left the side door unlocked. So, lesson learned, right? Killing my mood though, for real. I just put new wheels on the board. It's okay. I'm trying to stay positive. Maybe I have a new board. It's gonna be gifted to me. Just pulling through Missouri, St. Louis specifically. Uh, drove over the Mississippi River and saw the arch. I didn't videotape it because I was videoing the bridge and I wanted to get like a cool like time lapse of that or whatever. But uh, it was really cool to see it at night. Y'all wouldn't be able to see it, you know, if I had recorded it anywhere. You know, barely would have seen the city cityscape. But anyways, I thought it was freaking dope. Um, Traffic is crazy coming through the city, of course, but I just kind of expected that. I tried to stay behind um, big, you know, like vans, tour buses, uh, semis, you know, that kind of stuff. Because um, they typically have more of like a consistent flow on the road. And uh, slow and steady, you feel me? That's where I'm trying to be. So anyways, um, I had a little change of plans. Um, Instead of staying at uh, that one campground in Illinois, I decided to save $45 and just keep on driving a little further. Uh, there's cheaper campgrounds in Kansas if I do need to like spend the night somewhere. Um, but it's, whoa, big, big bus. But uh, it's like less than 12 hours to Denver. And I have three more Red Bulls. So, Denver, I'll see you in the morning. I am in the middle of misery. No, uh, misery. Somewhere, I think. Fuck. I don't know. It's like one o'clock in the morning. I'm just getting some gas um, and some ice for my Red Bull because they're all super, super hot. Got like um, eight hours left to go. about 500 miles from Denver, uh, right around the Topeka, Kansas area. Um, yeah, I just pulled over to take a piss under a bridge. Um, I know I can pee in my van, but I forgot to fill it up with water before I left, so. Um, yeah, nature called. But anyways, it's probably like three, four o'clock in the morning or some stupid shit, but I'm trying to make this drive all in one. I'm trying to beast it out, so wish me luck.
o'clock in the morning. I have about 260 miles until the campground that I'm gonna be sleeping at for a little bit. Um, it's almost to Denver, but it's just outside. I didn't wanna like go all the way into the city and then not have anywhere to sleep. So I went ahead and found a spot just outside so I can get some rest and then hit the city when I'm all rested. Um, that's the tentative plan. Just got into Colorado. It kind of, kind of still looks like uh, Kansas or Kentucky, Kansas, right? Kansas, just like Kansas. Still looks like Kansas. I don't see any mountains yet, but hopefully in the next hundred miles or so, we'll see some mountains. Finally made it. Not quite Denver. Close enough. I'm in Elizabeth, Colorado, which is like a little suburb whoa, of Denver. Um, it's what you come through when you take the scenic way in. I'm really glad I took that route. It was really pretty. Well, anyways, um, I didn't sleep at all last night. I literally drove like 14 hours straight. Um, so I'm about to get me a shower and find me a nice park to chill at. And uh, maybe a job for tomorrow. Give me some cash in my pocket. Get me started. Um, anyways, all right, wish me luck. I stopped and slept. I got to the Denver area and I just hit the ground running. I got a haircut and I've been looking for jobs. So I'm gonna get some cash in, you feel me? Uh, no time wasted. I'm also trying to find a place to like sleep tonight, you know, that's definitely on the agenda as well. Um, it'll be all good. Hi, uh, Denver, Colorado. I don't know when I vlogged last, um, but let me just give you guys an update. Yesterday was kind of a shit show. I pulled into town and I didn't get any sleep, um, but somehow I managed to get a haircut and apply to like a bunch of different jobs and stop in and try to talk to them and none of them were hiring. And it's a good thing because I didn't really like that part of town that I was in anyways um, when I first came in. So I, I managed to reconnect with a friend of mine that I met last year and he managed to let me plug up at his house. I managed to get a really, really good night's sleep and I pressure washed the front of my van so I can actually see out the front windshield now. Um, and now I'm looking for jobs up in Boulder. I got some good information about, you know, where to stay and places to go and all that from my buddy. So a uh, pro tip from uh, van life people, travelers, it's always good to connect with people from the area that you're staying in to kind of get a, a heartbeat of the city, uh, where to go and where to not go, you know. But anyways, I got Del Taco last night and yesterday for lunch. Uh, and today I'm getting in and out, so very, very excited. Um, probably gonna hit the dispensary afterwards. Uh, I got me a new pipe, I'll show y'all later. Uh, and then head up to Boulder, so yeah. Yo, that's a burger right there. somewhere um, up in the woods a little bit to sleep. 
it's not the campsite that I was trying to get to. I couldn't find it in the dark. Um, and the review said you had to like hike a little bit. So rip on that. I really wanted to wake up to some like pretty scenery. But I found a nice, pretty, uh, quiet, safe spot on the road up. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's just literally the sound of the trees. It sounds like running water, and it might be running water, but I'm pretty sure it's just the trees. Um, it's really peaceful up here. Okay. Alright, so, uh, just uh, woke up, um, and I hear a creek down there. So, I'm gonna try to go find it. Oh my gosh, it is a creek! Oh, I thought it was just like, I thought it was the sound of the trees the whole time. No, that's epic! Laundry. Pretty basic stuff for a van life person. Um, it's kind of nastier than like personal washers and dryers, but fuck it. All right, so just to give vlog a little update. Um, all right, what's going on? I am on the way to a coffee shop called Trident, uh, and if they don't have any places to plug in my phone, then I'm gonna go to a coffee shop called The Laughing Goat, which has much better vibes. So I can charge my computer, so I can play on this street corner over here. Um, yeah. But I am so freaking hungry, and I always do this to myself, where like, I just have so much like on my mind like going for the day, like I just forget to eat. Um, last time I went in here, it was just like really busy and really hot. So, we'll see if it's the same game. Yeah, I don't know if y'all caught a vibe, but like, I did. Second time going in, caught the same vibe, so. Laughing goat it is. <laughs> Good morning vlog. It is Wednesday, August 2nd. <laughs> or is it Thursday, August 2nd? Whatever, it's August 2nd. I just woke up. <sighs> Slept here. Anytime fit in this parking lot. And that one okay. I didn't park like in the right parking spaces though because I got a knock at like four o'clock in the morning from parking lot security being like, hey man. Uh, whatever, and I was like, I got any time fitness, do you mean to move down? And he's like, yeah, please. Well, like, all right, like five spots down makes a big difference, but whatever. Anyways, um, I had an interview at a sushi restaurant yesterday and I didn't get the job because they're like super, super fancy. They needed someone with like at least five years experience. <laughs> um, so I have another interview at another sushi restaurant today. So hopefully that goes good. I went to an open mic night last night, but I didn't record any of it because I needed my phone to play the music, so that's that. Um, I was thinking about going to Denver today to look for some music jobs. I have an interview at that sushi place at 12.45, so if I book it out there after that, then that'd be aight. So I just wanted to let you know a little fun fact that I am becoming quite the fan of coffee um, because I'm spending a lot of time in coffee shops. Uh, other people that do van life probably understand the feeling. Uh, sometimes you just don't. You know what I mean? You just have some time to kill during the day. You need some Wi-Fi. You need some like more peace and quiet, somewhere nice to sit. So you pick a coffee shop. But then you know, if you sit in the salon, you're gonna get a haircut. You know, if you sit in a coffee shop, you're gonna start drinking coffee. And, um, yeah, I think I'm starting to become a coffee drinker, you know? Good morning, you guys. It is August 3rd, uh, 2020. 
Um, it's been a good morning so far. I had uh, an audition with a modeling company virtually um, this morning. I got a job yesterday uh, at a sushi bar, um, rolling sushi. Uh, I'm really excited I start tomorrow. And I really needed a job because I'm almost out of money. Well, I, yeah, yeah. Uh, I make a lot of my money off of uh, performing, like on the street. And um, it's not like a whole lot, but it's been enough to get me by, uh, at least until I get you know, a paycheck or whatever. Um, but I've been meeting people. Uh, I met a guy at an open mic the other night that uh, he plays like 25 to 30 gigs a month. Like he plays guitar and he's just, you know, and um, he's gonna get me in to play uh, at this taco bar right next to the sushi restaurant that I work at. And really good exciting news too. Uh, my free time won't go to waste because there's an internship at this um, like theater, you know what I mean? Like a uh, stage, you know, venue, theater, whatever. Like maybe like three businesses down from the taco place, which is like three businesses down from like the sushi bar. Uh, and they have an internship for like production, lighting, sound, all that kind of stuff. So I'll definitely get like the um, the backstage experience, you know, as well to, to performing. So I'm just trying to be well-rounded. Um, also, uh, I picked up some saw horses uh, that I saw on the ground on the salon, whatever. Yo, we have a big win today. I now have an inverter, baby. Those run to the battery. I'm charging a fan, or sorry, charging my battery and running the fan at the same time. I mean, that's a pretty good juice. At night, it gets to like, you know, 65, you know, 68 maybe. Um, and that's like, you know, it's not bad, but with the airflow, I mean, that's just gonna be perfect. Like, I just had the windows open, you know, just cracked and like, just been moderate airflow. Like it kind of gets, you know, kind of cold in here and I sleep like, just, Decent, you know what I'm saying? Like barely, but uh, man, with the fan, nice cool air, I got no more problems, man. I'd be able to run the uh, the microwave up there, you know. Either way, huge success with the inverter. Uh, I don't have to plug up my laptop at the gym anymore, um, or anything like that. Like I'll have all the power that I need while I'm going down the road. Um, I definitely still have to plug up to use the AC, but like I said. I don't really have to use the AC right now, so it's pretty nice. I mean, just look at that view. You know, life could be a lot worse. Now look at this. 